Hey there, sports fans. It's Opinionated Glenn, and I'm back. The 23rd, the 23rd day of February, 2012. Hey, I just heard it on the news. Michigan is the number one poor state out of the Midwest states. And it's close to being number one poorest in the entire United States. But don't forget, folks, the recession's over. <laughs> of course we got those scumbags that are too busy holding their crotches out robbing 7-Elevens. They don't care about their kids. That is what we have living in Michigan, in Detroit. They don't care about their kids. But nobody, none of you do-gooders will say, oh, it is a problem of the mofos. It is an absolute problem of the mofos. These people don't care about their kids. Pump them off, get the welfare, and all will be right with the motherfucking world. How many times have you heard that? It's a fact. Something's got to be done. But there are some folks in Michigan that don't have jobs. But cut off their uh, unemployment. Make it shorter. They have nothing to return to, nothing to fall back on. We got all these politicians that don't give a shit about nobody but their own self. And that's the way it is. It's politics in the USA at its finest. A bunch of scumbag, do-nothing, careless individuals. As long as their asses are sitting in some cushy job in Washington or in some governor's mansion, they don't give a shit about anybody else. And nothing's going to change until we get rid of the political system of the United States. We have to. It's got to be abolished. The people are dying, and we got scumbags living large. Oh, it's a shame. You see what happened in Detroit. No matter who they have as the mayor, they were stealing, robbing, thieving. The city is crumbling, tumbling to nothing. It's who can get what for themselves. They don't care about anybody else. Something's got to be done. But what? Nobody will do nothing. All you do-gooders say, yeah, 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 let's vote Republican. And then the Republic scums will get shitty again. And it's the same thing. Then next time, let's vote Democratic. Let's vote Democratic. None of you assholes have any memories. What the hell's going on? How stupid can you people be? I know you're real stupid. It, it, we're... There's too many. I'm surrounded by idiots. I've told my kids that forever. We're surrounded by idiots. And then there's no other way to explain it. You people believe these lying, two-faced, wingtip wearing, brown cuff pant assholes and all they say. And it's all bullshit. The recession's over. Yeah, the recession's over if you're sitting some big time office doing nothing for making a couple million a year. Let's break that down. A couple million a year is $40,000 a week. Give or take if you're taking a vacation for a couple weeks. $40,000 a week. You can't even piss that kind of money away. Oh, I guess you can if you're a republic scum or a politician. Oh, man, somebody ought to blow these bastards out of the water and vote for Greenpeace or one of these obscure political parties that never got any votes. It's time. It, the time has come. The time is now. Howard J. Mooney, will you please come now? Whatever that means. Dr. Seuss. Okay. So, uh, yeah, a poor state. Cut off all unemployment. Cut off all benefits. The recession's over. See you later, good buddy. 10-4. Good day.